Hello everyone and welcome to the basic searching assignment overview video. In this video, I'm going to go over the directions and expectations of the assignment. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me in class, in Google Meet during my office hours, or send me an email. With the basic searching assignment, we are going to practice searching the library catalog and a subscription database. These library resources are ones that you will use frequently as you locate sources for future classes. You're also going to compare your experience searching these resources to searching with a search engine. You will identify citation information for each source you find. We use these citations to credit sources in your work and that helps you avoid plagiarism and build your credibility as a creator. Many of these things you may already know. What we're going to focus on here is how do we transfer the searching skills we know from using Google and how do we locate the information that we need to cite sources appropriately? In part one, you are going to be searching the library catalog. First, you will need to select a topic from the list. The one that I have highlighted, online learning, is the one that I will use in the demonstration videos. You then need to search the library catalog. I have directions to help you do that written here. But I will also have a demonstration video that you can watch to see an example. With this search, we are going to locate a physical book on your topic. Once you have found the source, we're going to write down the pieces that we need to make a citation, such as the author, the title, the date, and also the information to locate it, which is the call number and the physical location in the library. In part two, you're going to search one of the library databases, specifically one called Research Library ProQuest. I also have a demonstration video that will show you an example of how to do this. Once you have found your article, you are again going to gather some citation information, which includes the author, the title of the article, and the title of the periodical, among others. I want to take this second to note that unlike books, articles are not published individually. They are collected together into bigger things called periodicals. Periodicals are just publications like newspapers, magazines, trade journals, and scholarly journals. So you will be seeing that word a lot as we go through these assignments. You are also asked to read the abstract and explain why you think it's put there. For part three, you are going to search Google. My video for this will not include how to search Google, but will instead focus on how do you locate citation information. We all use Google every day, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's often challenging to cite the sources we find. We're going to gather the source information, which will include author, publisher, title of web page and website, and publication date. You're also going to copy and paste the URL. The URL is the address of the website. Finally, in part four, you're going to reflect on your experiences as you search these three different places. I often end assignments with reflective exercises so that you can build deeper connections between what you've done, what you've done in the past, and what you're going to do in the future. The directions say, in a comprehensive paragraph, reflect on your experiences searching the library catalog, research library ProQuest, and Google. Comprehensive means it has to cover everything. It has to have enough detail and explanation that I can follow your thought process, and it has to answer all of the questions that are asked. Your paragraph should fully explain your reasoning and support your statements with evidence. Reasoning would be your explanation for why you think what you do. Evidence would be what supports that assertion, what detail, or 
other piece of information from the sources or from your experience can you use to support your claim? Evidence does not always have to be in the form of a citation, although it certainly can be. Your paragraph must also discuss each of the following questions. Which features were similar in the places you searched? In other words, what things were kind of the same? Which features were different in the places you searched? In which places you searched, was it easiest to locate the citation information needed and why? Citation information would be things like author, title, and date. Be sure to tell me why you felt the one was easiest that you pick. I hope that this helps you as you begin today's assignment. Again, if I can help in any way, please don't hesitate to contact me.